This is ma- Wait, wait, wait! Before you get into the weird Grim Reaper thing, I have a really important question. <gasps> Look at the little axolotl! Should be hilarious, I'm sure. I love the fact that in the in the day that we've met him, he got an axolotl. Did you just discover emojis or something? There were so many. <laughs> There are more to custom. No. A custom? I mean, people use them to chat. But the ones you use are kind of... Well, they are kind of cute, but they're also kind of weird. What? They are not. Also, like... You use them, I feel like, to kind of be a hipster. I, I'm just saying. Or like you use them in like the early, like before emojis. Like you use those. They kind of are. According to the internet, emojis are frequently used in text chats. Someone on Yahoo Answers specifically said so. I know that doesn't say Yahoo. I'm calling it Yahoo. <laughs> the fact that he's referencing Yahoo Answers. Is that service still up? Hold on. I, I want to know. Okay, so I remember Yahoo Answers being a thing in like 2007. I don't know how old this is, but this is like hitting some very old like, nostalgia stuff for me. It died. It ceased operations in 2021. But apparently there's a Japanese version that's like, which like Yahoo Japan is like a big thing. I And I don't know if it's like necessarily amongst all Japanese or if it's just like, people my my mom's age because my mom will be like yeah I just go on Yahoo Japan and look something up <laughs> like if it's like she can't find it in English it's immediately Yahoo Japan <laughs> someone on Yahoo says, but it died in 2021 uh, they are but not those ones usually or that high of a frequency let's look at cow emojis they're not really normal emotes I actually have no idea what a cow emoji is. Damn it! Why the sudden change? The entire way you type is different. I does it even matter? I shall refrain, refrain from using them further. But you like that one? Yeah, they do have that very like kawaii Harajuku feel. I feel like I just said like the most stereotypical like Japanese uwu experiences, but I really don't know how to describe it. And I'm like, I 100% see this like being sent in like emails because like I, but like I don't see it being something used in like WhatsApp, not WhatsApp line. Line's the one in Japan. WhatsApp's not. Oh, but they're so cute. Don't get me wrong. I like. But I do like laughing at them. Can I can I say both of these? Let's do the they're so cute. Ugh, I wish I'd never called you. Yeah, you you did start this. And look at the, can we can we I hope we talk about the axolotl. You're the one who wanted my full attention. Was there something in particular you wanted to say? Nope. <laughs> Please let us say so you just wanted to look at our face. <laughs> Then why did you call? <laughs> I just wanted to see how quickly you'd answer. I did take like two rings in my defense, but that's fine. I believe that is a new record. This, whatever. Do I get a trophy or something? No. Then I definitely won't pick up next time. Of course you will. You wanna try me, punk? You are drawn to my charm after all. Shut up, Emo Shigaraki. I will not call him anything but Emo Shigaraki. I stand by it. <laughs> I can't tell if you're just very self-confident or completely full of yourself. What? 
Well, first things first. Self-confidence is, as mortals say, hot. There's no point in arguing with me there because I am correct, as per usual. I really hope. I don't know how old this is because of some of the answers that they are giving out. I am, but it's also really funny that her re was using very old, like texting it mannerisms. I really hope we get to throw an uwu in there. I really hope we do. Secondly, you keep saying grim this, grim that. My name is not grim. Why would my name be grim? Completely and utterly foolish. You look like a grim. What is your name then? I'm sure you'd love to know, wouldn't you? How you must desire my name to fall from your lips. <laughs> Why has this butt guy been reading so much KU romance? Huh? The only one desiring that is you. <laughs> if you say so. You're not disagreeing with me, I see. Listen here. My name is not for mortal ears. It is classified on all levels. How the hell can a name be classified? The reasoning for that is... Classified. <laughs> Somehow, I knew you would say that. But this is super unfair. You know my name. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. <laughs> Honestly, life is pretty. <laughs> I love just being able to like have this side vest. I don't know why it's so fun. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Anyways, why wouldn't I know it? It's it is quite literally my job. More like you hacked into my computer when you installed this virus-riddled program. Then you stole my information. If that's what you want to believe, be my guest. I'll just stick with Grim then. Or should I come up with another nickname? Hmm. Definitely not Ghost. Do I do Little Lamb or Snowball? Hmm. Let's do, let's do Snowball. Snowball's fun. But Whittle Wham, because then we can do the Whittle Wham. Yeah, Whittle Wham. What the? Where does the lamb cart part come into it? You have the fluffy white hair. If anything, I'm more like a tiger than a I almost said liger. God, I'm throwing it old, old school. Are you asking me to call you kitten? I'm absolutely not asking you to do that. No. No. You're a little picky, aren't you? Then how about... Hmm. You're bright like the moon. Luna, moonlight... What? No. God, this this feels like I'm writing character names. Because I'm, I'm like... How about this one? No. This one? No. This one? No. Storm. Ugh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Generic. Why is it anime boy? to koma komaeda komaeda komaeda. There we go. Hold on. I need to look that name up. I was like, that name has a very persona. Danga. Yes, we are doing Nagito kom um komaeda. Q-tip is kind of dumb. Mr. Bones. Meh. Generic white-haired anime boy. Like, if we had a Shigaraki reference, I would do that. But we are definitely doing a Danganronpa reference. I still want to play that game. Let me know. Like, if y'all want to see me play Danganronpa, let me know. What? Who? If you have nothing good to say, then say nothing at all. Hmm. I thought that was a good one. Phantom? Phantom? God, what else is white? Ice? Ugh. Steve? No. Then... You know what? Grim will do just fine. Lord, please help me. Please do not subject me to these dictates any longer! Okay, Steve! <laughs> no need to overreact, Steve. You. 
Me? Yes, you. You are the only one here. Your words make me want to wring your neck myself. Hmm. I don't know if I'm into that kind of thing. What? I'm... It's not a kink thing. <laughs> it is. It is not. It is an act of frustration. Hey, I'm equally frustrated over here. I just want to know the name of the man who wants to kill me. Wouldn't anyone? Where's the fun in that? Keep me in your mind, wondering. <laughs> oh boy, is K What is it, Nagito? Yeah, Nagito. God, that is great. <laughs> just call me Grim. If I have to listen to every, even one more of your stupid nicknames, then I may combust on the spot. What about me? What about you what? Do I get a nickname? Why would you need a nickname? I know your name perfectly well. To stop saying it. Perhaps you find yourself too flustered hearing your name spoken to some by someone like me. I just think nicknames are fun. Also, I hate hearing you say my name. I don't like seeing it on screen. And you get one, so I should get one too. You wouldn't want to be unfair, would you? Oh, I love being unfair to mortals. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Right. Those pretty little ears work after all. <laughs> this is way too fun. <laughs> you think they're pretty? What? No. But you just said it. Pretty little ears. I was trying to insult you. Weird insult, buddy. Look, a nickname is unnecessary. But if you had to pick one, what would you pick? Hmm. Annoying, irritating, infuriating. Those are adjectives. My bad. I didn't realize we had the nickname police here. Seems like someone isn't creative, huh? Creativity is not something I lack. Look at your back. In fact, I do not lack. Yeah? Lay it on me then, Grim. Well, it's... Naming is so hard. I'm waiting. What did your creative mind come up with? Look at that pasta. Look at that little <laughs> hmm. Sunshine? You think I'm like sunshine? Sorry, I misspoke. I mean, that's a Freudian slip if I've ever seen one. I meant nightmare. You absolutely did not misspeak. I don't mean being your sunshine. Please refrain from speaking anymore. I am stuffing my. You are literally not doing that. <laughs> it is rather grating. You're sweet, Grim. And you are delusional. Completely and utterly. <laughs> your face screams uncertain. There's nothing I'm more certain of in my life, or in death for that matter. Fine, then I am completely and utterly delusional. But, also you think I'm like Sunshine, so I have that going for me. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> you really do seem kind of adorable sometimes, you know? Awful attitude, yet you came up with such a cute nickname. I think you should say it again. Go on, call me Sunshine again. No, I refuse. Pretty please with sugar on top? Makes no sense. Why is there sugar on top? Forget the sugar. Come on, pretty please. 
No, nope, absolutely not. What if I hand over my soul for it? You'd really do that? No, but I want you to say it again. No <sighs> blush. Pilly, you can only blame yourself for coming up with such a cute nickname. There's no reason to be so shy, my little reaper. <laughs> shy? You would call me shy. I am anything but. Hmm. Then why are you so flustered right now? I am not flustered. I can call you whatever I want. So timid, so shy, so hesitant, adorable. You're just way too easy to tease. <laughs> I am the Grim Reaper, for God's sakes. I'm none of those things. Then prove it. Don't worry, I can wait. Let me get my popcorn. Look, look at that little blush. Look at the little blush. Oh. Seriously, are you seriously hellspawn? You are seriously hellspawn. You, you're like sunshine in the worst of ways. You're far too bright. I hate sunlight. I can't help it if I'm naturally radiant. I doubt you can help your natural stupidity either. Grim. What now? If you blush like that, you make me want to tease you more. <laughs> you know what? My cat's on fire. I gotta go. <laughs> You're what? And I think I left my stove on, my fridge open, and the front door unlocked. I think I've used those excuses before too. But I don't want you to go yet. It's actually kind of fun in a weird way. Just, just gotta look past the Grim Reaper cosplay thing you got going on. And the fact that you illegally installed this app on my computer, of course. It's not a. Even if your personality is kinda... Wait, what's wrong with my personality? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it, Grim. But if the shoe fit... My personality is fine. Yours, on the other hand. Also, I didn't illegally install anything. Your mortal laws don't apply to me. Really? I wonder what the court would think if I sued you for invasion of privacy. It would never catch me anyway. That's where you're wrong. I'm tracking your location right now. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Unless... Track it all you like. You'd never be able to reach me anyway. Why? Do you live in another country? Do you use VPN? Is this a video sponsored by NordVPN? No. No, it isn't. Sunshine. I live in another plane of existence. <gasps> He called us sunshine. Let me guess. I have to. I want to say Australia so badly. Heaven. Why do I look like an angel to you? Look more like an angel than a grim reaper. Yeah. I'll take it as a compliment then. Angels are usually quite beautiful. Not to come back to your personality, but that definitely doesn't suit an angel. <laughs> well, if I had to place you somewhere in the hierarchy of heaven and hell, you'd be an incompetent and unimportant nymph. Blech. That is the best compliment I've ever gotten. How incredibly sad. Anyway, no, I am not in heaven. Doubt they would let me in either. You do kind of harass and kill people, apparently. What I do is part of the natural cycle. When someone's time has come to an end, I simply help them along. Regardless, it is far too dirty a job for an angel. So where do you live then? The underworld. Since when do they have Wi-Fi in the underworld anyway? Or computers, or posters. Nice posters, by the way. Please let us talk about the axolotl. Please let us talk about the. Damn it! I want to talk about the axolotl. The world seems to. Underworld seems to have it all. Do you think I should make the move? You are not destined for the underworld. 
No? Don't fancy a roommate? I'd rather perish than share my space. You look like you live in a closet. Emo. Aw, even with me? Especially with you. A shame. I think I'd make a great housewife. A, a what? I can help you cook, clean, bathe if you ask me nicely. Excuse me, I do not need help bathing of all things. <laughs> I love this high conversation. I'm like contemplating between these two. I'm gonna do the hair. Don't ask me why. My hair? Do you not have hot water in the underworld? Of course there's hot water. That is not the point. Perfect, then it all works out. Maybe I'll even throw in a massage. If you beg, there will be no massaging or cooking together or sharing a house, you understand? But the bathing is still on the table, huh? It is absolute. God, I love our humor in this. God, the humor is great. Well, if you ever change your mind, I assure you, I, I won't. Anyway, you're changing the topic. If anyone's changing the subject, it's you. How would you even learn to install the virus on my computer? Did you take an advanced underworld hacking class, Grim? What? No, don't be stupid. I learned it myself. All on your own? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Sounds like bullshit to me. Actually, you know what? 20, like, yeah, that, that, as you should be. My talents are plentiful and perfected. Emo little boy. He's not, wait, is he wearing a mock neck, though? I can't tell. I can't tell if this is a collar or if it's an actual mock neck. Because it looks like a Kingdom Hearts outfit. Actually, I've changed my mind. I decided I'm Paul the Stead, absolutely disgusted. Talk about from one extreme to another. Maybe you actually had some form of security on your computer, it wouldn't have been that easy. I have security. Yeah, what one? Whatever one came with the computer. Right, it wasn't hard to get in at all. I don't. Are you sure you aren't some super hacker? As if I'd have time for nonsense like that. Reaping souls is hard work, you know. Is it? I mean, every time we talk, you're just sitting in your room. You expect me to be working 24-7? As a Grim Reaper? Yeah, kinda. Anyway. So you really just made up this whole program yourself? Like I've already said, yes. How? How? What a loaded question. You wouldn't understand it all, trust me. Not that I'd tell you anyhow. How? The same thing. Did you pay someone else to make it? Like, put out an ad on Fiverr. You're an idiot. I said I made it. I do not lie. But you have to know, I did watch a tutorial. <laughs> a tutorial? Like, a video? On programming? Uh, yeah. I made use of the resources I had. Is that a problem for you? Not at all. Very resourceful of you. I shall add this to the list of attributes I should associate with you. Same thing. What exactly does this list say, dare I ask? <laughs> Annoying, creepy, weird, weird again, weird for a third time, just because why not? These are all negative traits. I think they capture you quite well. None of them missed the mark. They all missed the mark. Where's sexy, handsome, what about my devilish charm? You could have at least mentioned my fantastic wit. My bad, I must have missed those one off somehow. It is your bad, yes. Revise your list. I have revised it and I have decided not to change it. That's bullshit. Wait a second. Oh my God. What is that behind you? Yes! What are you on about? <gasps> that plushie on your bed. It's so cute. What? You did not see that. <laughs> not a word about it. You understand? 
What? How did you move that fast? Bring it back. It's adorable. What's its name? Why the hell would I give him a name? Oh, a uh, he? Ah, oh, shit. Grim has a widow pochi. How adorable. Stop talking. He's so cute and pink. Let me name him for you. No. How about no? Oh, I've got the perfect. His name is Azaro. <laughs> okay, that's cute. I'm somehow unsurprised by that name. What's that supposed to mean? The Angel of Death, of course. You would name him Azaro. It's much better than any of the god awful names you sure you were about to spout. I would have given him a great name, actually. Something positively devious. Well, he has a name. It's a great it's great of a discussion this is. Duty calls. Isn't it a bit late to go off to work? Mortal, death can call at any time. Talk later, little human. See you, Grim. Yes, I suppose you shall. Look after yourself. Quit calling me by my name. Claiming your life belongs to me only. And that's where we're going to end it. I know this was a very long episode, but... Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am going to go through this, though. That almost sounded romantic. Death can be quite romantic, don't you think? Have a good night. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow.